don't know what's going on here, but I'm very, very excited. Remember Marquez Houston from Sister Sister? He's been busy and not in the way you might imagine. For instance, here's what he revealed about the age he started dating his wife and the age they got married. People are saying your, my, your wife must have been like a little bit younger when you married her. I mean, can so, you set this record so straight? Yeah, so she was 19 when we got married. She was 18 when we started dating. The same way your jaws dropped was how other celebrities were shocked by the news. Like he never talked to her, he never nothing until she turned 18. Mm. Which means I sized you up the whole 17. I was just waiting. And I was just yeah. waiting for the That's clock it. to strike 12 to turn you into a pumpkin. That's like, weird. Get to, what are you talking about? But besides his rather unorthodox choices, this man has a wild history with the ladies. Okay. So what we're doing is we're gonna give you a couple names. And I'm gonna, cause I know you're gonna front like you didn't smash, you're, you don't kiss and tell. And boy, did they read the hell out of him. He smashed, he smashed, he smashed. Okay. He smashed. So we've, we've come to the conclusion that you have smashed every arm. Mm. Nivea. Hmm? He's a Keisha gentleman. Cole. He doesn't kiss and tell. Olivia. I, Any I member of I Total. Don't. In most cases, Hollywood child stars either end up at the center of every industry related conversation or just fall off. But Marquez Houston has proven to be the exception in all ramifications. That's probably because unlike most of his peers, his fame and fortune didn't just come from his TV stint. He was one of the few who concurrently had a successful musical career. If you're an oldie, you probably remember him from Sister Sister, but the only thing a lot of Gen Z's may recognize about him is his voice. They say, yeah. That's right. Houston dropped classics both as an actor and as a singer, but like many industry people, he's also been shrouded in his fair share of controversies. These were not tied to anything like substance use or being in jail, but they are tied to his choices of women over the years. With fame, money, and good looks, it's not surprising that Houston would have had his pick of the beautiful women of his time. Even he has confirmed it, as he mentioned that late into his teen years, he and his fellow singers had women pass out because of them. And we just start like, you know, doing shows, doing like little mall tours and stuff like that. And girls were like fainting and stuff like that. So for us, it was, it was fun. We were kids and we didn't understand none of that. With this type of exposure, you might think Houston would be the last person to have relationship drama, and he doesn't. The problem people have is the age factors that have come up in his past and current relationships. Of course, Houston isn't the first big celebrity to have been caught up in a case like this. We've seen it with Leo DiCaprio, who has been alleged to only date women who are less than 25 years old at every point in time. Although Houston is noticeably younger than the Titanic actor, his being so exposed has left fans scratching their heads about the relationship choices he keeps making. Worsening the situation is the fact that besides people losing their minds while he and his band were still touring the world, he's actually dated a lot of people you wouldn't believe. Some got out based on rumors, while others were publicly seen with him. From models who are argued to be some of the most beautiful in the world, to the entertainment industry's biggest names, Houston has done his fair share of exploration. But because he's made it a point to be private about his love life, most of the details have gone missing in the woodwork. Well, those days now seem to be over, because according to recent revelations that have hit the media about him, it appears that the age factor in his relationship choices might just be the tip of the iceberg. She was like, I know you be doing your thing out there, you popular with your boy band and all that stuff, but you know, my girls is good. Don't corrupt my girls. This isn't just tea for the fans, even fellow celebrities have been talking about Houston's thought process. And if people in his line of work don't understand it, then you know it's serious. But I'm saying that a young, a lot of older men choose younger women because one, they feel like they can mold them and, and make them do what they want. And two, a lot of people feel that younger women are while he might not need much of an introduction because of how successful his run in the television and music industry has been, there are still a lot of young people who may not know this man's story. Born on August 4, 1981, in LA, California, to the couple Michael and Carolyn Houston, Marcus Barrett Houston inherited African and Mexican blood. As a kid, he had been dreaming big of becoming a celebrity, and with his childhood mates Jerome Romeo Jones and Don Halfpint Santos, he formed the band Immature. It was not some cheesy band that rubbed off after some time. These kids were pretty determined to make it through to Hollywood. We can make some of that money back tonight. I called Emerald and said we could roll. 
Marquez during this time explored his acting talent by lending his voice to the character Cahill in Baby's Kids, 1992. The next year, while concentrating on his music career, he also appeared as a guest star, along with the other two immature members in the TV series, A Different World, for two episodes. Only in 1994 that Marquez garnered a more memorable role as Roger Evans on the TV series, Sister, Sister but he dropped from it due to a real-life situation that he could not miss. First, the last days of her mother who suffered from cancer, and second, the opportunity to fly away with his own show together with Immature. Although he would later land several film and television roles, his dating life gained the most prominence, and if you saw the list of his exes, you'd get why too. For starters, the singer-cum-actor used to be in a relationship with Jennifer Freeman. Yes, that's the same Freeman who's a successful model and actress. And what they had wasn't just a random fling. The pair were actually engaged and set to wed. Although the details of what happened to them have been a mystery for years. Reports say it might have had something to do with her past. Anyway, that wasn't the only high-profile relationship Houston got into back in the day. Reports also have it that the singer was once coupled up with girlfriend of embattled actor Jonathan Majors, Megan Good. Like his previous relationship, not much is known about how their relationship went. The same also applies to his relationship with Kim Kardashian. All of these women are obviously at the top of their games, but there is one rumored relationship that took over the internet from the moment of its mention, and that's the one alleged to have been with Beyonce. Beyonce has never gone public with anyone other than her rapper hubby Jay-Z. But if you were alive in the early 2000s and of a certain age, you might remember rumors that she allegedly dated Houston, it's unclear when this supposed fling started, but Ranker notes that they were romantically linked in 2001. According to Rolling Out, Houston once allegedly appeared on 106 N Park between 2000-2014 and revealed that he and Bay had a thing going on before she blew up crazy. But in later interviews, he played more coy on the rumors. When asked if he'd ever dated anyone from girl groups in a 2013 interview with Hot 97, he failed to give a direct answer. He would only say, let me just say this, there was a time where, you know, there were a lot of girl groups out back in the day, and Immature, IMX, was like the hottest boy band out at a point in my life and my career, and you know, there was a lot of situations, and I'll leave it at that. Four years later, Vlad TV flat out asked him if he'd ever dated Beyonce, to which he gave a resounding no. We were just friends, he said. Fans seem to think the timing might have been a little sus, as Beyonce is known for shutting people up. Anyway, leaving Queen Bey out, besides the incredible good looks all the women from his past have in common, they've all been in the eye of the media, but his relationship with his current wife, Mia Dickey, seems to be the one that has drawn the most backlash, and for good reason. Houston's relationship with Dickie made headlines a few years back when it was revealed that the R&B singer, now 42, met Dickie when she was 17 years old. The couple got engaged in March 2019 after just five months of dating before tying the knot in August 2020. In a preview released ahead of his upcoming appearance on TV One series, Uncensored, Houston shed more light on how he met his wife. Me and my wife's situation is a little different, how we met through mutual friends and everything like that, Houston explains. When I met my wife, she was 17. We had no, really, conversation and no, really, connection until she was of age. Houston went on to address the criticism he's received due to the couple's nearly 20-year age gap. People don't understand it. And of course, I got a lot of backlash for marrying someone that was 19, he shared. And, you know, when we did finally start to talk, I was like, this woman is like me, for one, we had a spiritual connection, and I feel like that's the most important thing. And being able to start being around her, we connected through music, and her spirit, her kindness, her heart, reminds me a lot of my mom, and we connected on so many different levels. Well, a lot of people in the industry didn't seem to buy his story. He never talked to her, he never nothing until she turned 18. Mm. Which means I sized you up the whole 17. I was just waiting. And I was just yeah. waiting for the That's clock it. to strike 12 to turn you into a pumpkin. That's like, weird. Get what are you talking about? Anyway, back in June 2020, Houston first responded to the backlash, taking to Instagram to explain to his followers how he and Mia met. I met Mia in 2018 through a mutual friend, 
he said at the time. Never before then did I even know she existed. Mia is like a daughter to Chris Stokes because we are all like family. Being a Jehovah's Witness, we all showcase true love like family. That's it. Chris's real daughter, Chrissy Morales, became friends with Mia in 2018, where we all first met Mia at a Jehovah's Witness convention. It was then that Chrissy and Mia became friends. Mia and I didn't start dating until she was an adult. We fell in love and got engaged in March of 2019. Well, several people, including TK Kirkland, thought that might have been a little strange. Not because Houston is a bad guy per se, but because their marriage might not go the way he might prefer it to go, at least according to statistics. Men who marry that, they, women at the young age, usually when you get 60, 70 years old, the woman leaves the guy. While it is entirely possible that Marcus and Mia could be the exception to the stats Kirkland read out, there have been other more sinister rumors about the pair, particularly Mia. Although those rumors had already been swirling around, they gained more prominence after Houston decided to speak publicly about his engagement to Mia Dickey after reading a blog about their relationship. I felt with this situation I needed to speak because this is not music or television. This is my family, my future wife, and my life he posted on Instagram. Houston did not name the blog, but Page Six reported that he may be referring to a story in MTO News, which reported that Twitter users were alleging that Miyana had been on the missing teenager list since she was 15, four years. According to Page Six, these rumors were fueled by a report that a woman named Miyana Dickey was listed as an art director on at least one collaboration with Houston and manager Chris Stokes on IMDb, fueling speculation that if Mia Dickey is Miyana Dickey, she may have known Houston for longer than he claims. Further complicating matters, this isn't the first time Houston has been embroiled in allegations of S misconduct. According to Page Six, both Houston and his manager, Chris Stokes, were accused of allegedly arresting former B2K band member Demario Raz B. Thornton, who is Stokes' cousin, and label mate Quindon Tarver, after a recorded conversation between Raz B. and Tarver was made public. Houston denied the accusations and was granted a restraining order against Thornton, and Tarver issued a statement saying that he had never intended his conversation with Thornton to be made public. Thornton did reportedly tell Vibe magazine in 2008 that Stokes forced him to take showers with the other band member and to kiss Houston, according to the Daily Beast. Yikes, sounds pretty damaging. Well, some fans say he and his mentor have had it a long time coming. One of these people wrote, Raz B has been telling people about Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes for years and people mocked him for it. Could there be more to Marcus Houston that we're missing out on? That's it for this video. Goodbye.